Hi all, uh, I just wanted to offer up a word of encouragement during this time, uh, especially as we go through Holy Week and we're all experiencing the same thing in the world right now. Um, word of encouragement never hurts. I'm sure you are sick and tired about hearing about and talking about the COVID-19 virus, but if God willing, this is only a season in our life. And you know, we learn a lot of things from each season in our life and hopefully we can learn something from this one. And I can't say that I know all of what you're going through, all the circumstances you're going through or, or what God is teaching you during this time. But what I do know is that something has been taken away from all of us, whether that's a loved one or a job or money or, or free time. Um, or for a lot of us, social interaction. A lot of us have lost a lot of our times that we spend with other people. You name it, something has been taken away from us. But sometimes we put a lot of our identity in those things, in the activities we do or the, or the relationships that we have. And, and we feel like we are missing something now, something that we can't live without. I know I feel like I definitely have something missing in my life just with all the things that I'm missing out on as well, with the people that I want to interact with, the things I want to do. And I was on a walk the other day and just listening to music, and a song came on um, called Make A Way by I Am They. It's a good song, check it out. But it reminded me of something important, a message, important message that I forgot. The first three lines of the song are this. Uh, you brought me to the desert so you could be my water. You brought me to the fire so you could be my shield. You brought me to the darkness so you could be my morning light. And I'm not, I'm not saying that God made the COVID-19 virus or whatever, but I, I do believe that God works through bad situations. What it reminded me of was that God is sufficient for us, for me, for you, for everyone. And, and we're also focused on what's been taken away and what's missing that we don't remember that who he is is enough a lot of times in scripture jesus says phrases like i am something for example i am the bread of life i am the good shepherd i am the way the truth and the life so it's not like he's this side thing talking about these sorts of things it's not like he is just showing us the way he is the way. It's not that he's just telling us the truth. He is the truth. And it's not like he's just giving us life. He is life. Not just eternal life, but the life that we're living today. He is just so much greater than what we can see or know because of who he is. He is enough. 2 Corinthians 12, 9 says, but he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses, so that Christ's power may rest on me. So even though we have things that have been taken away from us, we have things that are missing in our lives, maybe what God is trying to tell us and trying to teach us during this time is that there's something we think is missing in our lives that we can't live without, 